friends, good to be back with you after uh, a month. This is Remo here. Uh, you should have read the topic of my devotion already, which says servant leadership is a myth. Uh, before you throw your brick bats at me, let me uh, defend my position uh, uh, as best as I can from the scriptures. I am deeply convinced uh, over the years of uh, uh, being in several uh, works, several positions, uh, several uh, understandings and several situations, I am deeply convinced that uh, servant leadership is a human construct and not a biblical one. Uh, let me start off by saying, Paul in all his epistles, uh, starts his epistles by saying, Paul a servant of the Lord, Paul a servant of Christ. Paul doesn't say Paul a servant leader of Christ. Uh, and we must understand Paul to say he was a servant of Christ at that time was a very dangerous statement to make. Uh, simply because at that time Jesus was a criminal, uh, at least to the general public, and, and hung as a criminal. And to be identify himself as a uh, servant of uh, a publicly acknowledged criminal was not an easy position to be in. But still Paul calls himself a servant of Christ. Even in the Old Testament, when uh, Samuel gets called by the Lord as a young boy under the leadership of Eli, uh, God, God calls him Samuel, Samuel, and he goes to Eli and says, uh, Master, did he call me? Uh, and this happens a few times. And then finally, Eli realizes God calling him. And the instruction that Eli gives to Samuel, he says, is, the next time you hear the call, please respond saying, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. He doesn't say, speak, Lord, for your future servant prophet is listening. All through the scriptures, the role that's identified for a Christian or a follower of Christ or a Jew who, uh, who belong to the uh, Nazarene uh, uh, tribe, they've always referred to as servants. But unfortunately, we have been so stuck with our desire for power, desire for position, uh, desire for satisfaction of our egos, we have been so uh, strongly affiliated with leadership. Here's the, the, the term leadership. Uh, here's, here's, here's the reasons why I think we have coined the word servant leadership when the biblical mandate has always been for us to be servants. The reason why we've added leadership to this is because it satisfies our desire for power. Honestly, I mean, I'm not pointing fingers at anyone. I love power. I love authority. I love control. And that's a basic human basal desire for power, authority and control. And therefore, we had to somehow justify ourselves to say that leadership can be included with servanthood. The second thing is, uh, if I were to call myself a servant, I have to kill my ego completely. Servants have no ego. Servants have no identity. Servants have no uh, authority. Uh, but all of us have big egos. I have a big ego and swallowing mine is, is, is very difficult. The bigger your ego, swallowing becomes even more difficult. Uh, and thirdly, the reason why we have trouble identifying ourselves as servants is because servants is a position of vulnerability. Uh, and we don't like to be vulnerable. None of us likes to be vulnerable. Uh, but if you look at the model of Jesus, uh, when he washed the feet of his disciples, he had all the authority in the world not to do that but he chose to do what a servant would have done. If you look at Paul, like I said, all through, Paul was one of the most educated, one of the best educated from the pedigree of the tribes, yet he calls himself a servant after his conversion. And I think, imagine, imagine, just let's imagine for a moment, if each one of us chose to be a servant to the other, killing my ego, killing our desire for power, killing our desire for authority, it would be his kingdom on earth. When we say the Lord's Prayer, Our Father who art in heaven, thy kingdom come. I think thy kingdom come refers to a situation where each believer of Christ, each follower of Christ, each one saved by Christ, chooses to be a servant of the other. My dear brothers and sisters, let us this day choose to be a servant of the Lord, servant of our brother, servant of our spouse, and servant of the world. God bless us as we choose to be servants 
in a world in need.